Esse é o meu amor, é foda. Esse é o Great Pressure. After so many years, three years, see you all again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, we are celebrating the memorial of Saint Paul Gregory. And Saint Paul Gregory is called the Great because he was probably the most influential Pope in the early Middle Ages. And if for nothing at all, we remember him for the Gregorian chant and the Gregorian Mass for the dead. Let us call into mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have been sin in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. <coughs> oh God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them with love through the intercession of Pope Saint Gregory, and thou we pray. With a spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of the holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Learn from myself and Apollos not to go beyond what is written, so that none of you will be inflated with pride in favor of one person over against another. Who confers distinction upon you? What do you possess that you have not received? But if you have received it, why are you boasting as if you did not receive it? You were already satisfied. You have already grown rich. You have become kings without us. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings, so that we also might become kings with you. For as I see it, God has exhibited us apostles as the last of all, like people sentenced to death, since we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and men alike. We are fools on Christ's account, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To this very hour we go hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clad and roughly treated. We wander about homeless and we toil, working with our own hands. When ridiculed, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we respond gently. We have become like the world's rubbish, the scum of all at this very moment. I am writing you this not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children even if you should have countless guides to Christ, yet you do not have many fathers, for I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is here to all who call upon him. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. The Lord is here to all who call upon him. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord is so to all who call upon him.
Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. And the life says the Lord, no one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on, on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the hairs of grain, <coughs> rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, to the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat it, and eat of it, and shared it with his companions. <coughs> then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In our first reading today, Paul is advising the Christians in Corinthians to do away with pride. And he shares his very life with them. But it, if it is interesting to hear the aspect of life, of his life, that he shares with the Christians in Corinth, Paul tells them, for as I see, God has exhibited us apostles at the last of all, like people sentenced to death. He is talking about death. Then he tells them again, to this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clad and roughly treated. We wander about homeless and we talk. You know, these are difficult moments in life. But Paul is just saying them without any apprehension. He is not worried. Talking about the death he's facing. He is not worried. Talking about the fact that he doesn't have food to eat. He is not worried. Talking about the fact that is touring. Why? There's a very big reason. He is a man of faith. That is the difference. You know, Christianity does not glorify suffering. Our faith doesn't tell us to go for suffering. No. But our faith tells us that as Christians, we can suffer just as unbelievers will suffer. But then there's a big difference. If you are faith and you are facing difficulties, you see them and understand them from a different perspective. During the period of COVID, we were all in suffering. People were down, that we are in the rooms, we can't come out. But in the midst of these difficulties, there was a very big difference. Those who could see the period of the COVID with the eyes of faith, we always on top. You call somebody and the person is lamenting, what is this happening? The world is coming to an end. They are crying. You call another person who is of faith and will tell you, Upon all these difficulties, I now have time to read my Bible. I have more time to pray to God. I have more time to pray, with the, to pray the rosary because I'm in my room and I'm not going anywhere and I have more time with God. That is the point. The man who looks at the difficulties with faith is like St. Paul. And you know, in 1897, a sociologist called M. Deckham did 
studies on suicide in Europe, and we found out that in, in countries like Italy, in countries like Ireland, where the caliphate is strong, suicide was almost zero. Not that Italians don't have difficulties, they have difficulties, they have problems, but they look at their problems through the eyes of faith. And so nobody in Italy committed suicide. When they are down, they went to confessions, they received Holy Communion, they read their Bible, they went to the church and prayed. So they were people who lived their lives to the end because they look at difficulties with the eyes of faith. And that is why Paul can mention death with joy. It doesn't mean anything to him. He has faith to confront death. He has faith to confront hunger. And he's advising us that we should follow the same pattern and then look at difficulties with the lens of faith and we will be able to live a worthy life as Christians. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. <coughs> With hope in the abundant goodness of our loving God, we bring to Him our cares and concerns. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the for Pope Francis, may he be blessed with good health in this humble witness to the power of God's love for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For leaders of the nation, may the Holy Spirit guide them in treasuring and protecting God's gates of creation and the lands that produce food for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the hungry, the poor, and the homeless, May God graciously provide for their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For God peace and all who pass on the faith, may the Holy Spirit fill them with knowledge and wisdom to share God's truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, may they know the peace of the heavenly kingdom with all the angels and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For eternal report, for the eternal repose of the soul of Eric Laura, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our heart, let us put our intentions before the Lord. Father of mercy, you call us into communion with you and with each other. Hear our prayers and graciously grant what we ask in faith through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the one you offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Let us be God forever.
for our good and the good of Paul's holy church. church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O oh Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering we have lost the offerings of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. <coughs> lift up your heart. We will lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For us on the festival of St. Gregory, you build your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are claimed. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full with your glory, Hosanna and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this which we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For it is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For they get the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, glory are yours now and forever. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy to be sent to my room, but only say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh Lord, in struggles you fill with Christ the living bread, 
that on the feast day of St. Gregory, they may learn your truth and express it in words of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So I arrived last Thursday on the very occasion I was celebrating my 10th anniversary in preschool. And I bring you greetings from Rome and the Pope. I'm going to stay for a month after which I will return to Rome. I love you all and stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.